y'all. So, I said, you know what? While I'm sitting here and I am filming this Bed and Body Works haul, let me go on and give these guys a life update. I have not sat down and chatted with y'all. I ain't done no vlogs. I ain't done nothing. And you like, hey, where y'all been? Where you been? Girl, dude, <laughs> I've been living, baby. I've been living my best life. I've been doing things my way on my terms. I just been having fun. Um, y'all already know I'm not engaged no more. You probably like, but you still wear your ring. Girl, this ring was cute. I'm not I'm not not going with this ring because I ain't engaged to the person no more. And plus we didn't leave on bad terms. We are really happy and we good on, on each other. So I'm not gonna stop wearing my ring. I love my ring. I tried to give it back, he said now. Um but yeah, y'all know we broke up. Um, we were supposed to get married. I called the wedding off just because I wasn't ready at the time. I didn't want to be married. Like it's never been a time where I was single. I always had a man. Ever since I was 15, I literally always had a man. I've never been single. And I just wanted to be single. And I just wanted to live in my space by myself. Enjoy my space by myself. Sit with myself. And learn how to not need a man laying on the side of me. So that's what I did. Um, it was just, everything just happened so fast too, you know. And that was going to be my third marriage. And I had said that if I was going to get married again, that I had to be in love. And I don't think I was in love. I loved him, but I don't think I was in love. And I couldn't go into another marriage knowing I wasn't in love with that man. So I called the wedding off. And I stayed single for a minute, y'all. I did. I stayed single for a minute. And I just had a long talk with God. Like, God, I'm tired of trying to find my own man i'm tired of selling myself short i'm tired of compromising on things that i know that i need from a man and i'm not i don't i can't do it no more so i wrote i made a list of everything i needed and wanted in a man everything no no little things that i was willing to compromise on these were things that i had to have and I went, I was chilling. I, I swear to God, I was chilling. I wasn't going on no dates. I wasn't doing nothing. I was chilling. I was in my bag, getting my money, minding my business, doing me. And all of a sudden, <laughs> this dude just popped up out of nowhere. Like, guys just picked him up and said, here, there you go. So, now we are currently dating. And we're actually taking it slow. We're actually getting to know each other. We're both 41. Um, we both have children. And we're just really taking time to get to know each other and um, see where this can go. He has his space. I have my space. Um, we both understand what we want and what we need in order to move forward in a relationship. Um we both want to, if, if, if everything is how it's supposed to be and it's lined up and it's ordained by God, then we both know that we want to be married within a year. We want, no, we want to be engaged within a year. We want to be married within two years. Just because at this age, you pretty much know what you want. You really pretty much know who for you, who not for you. You pretty much know if um, you're wasting your time or not. And so far, so good. <laughs> Y'all had to go check the phone real quick because that man looked like he was really close to my car. So for the most part, you pretty much know what you want out, out of a person. You know um, if you want to build something or continue something with that person. You know if that person is a fit for you. And so far, so good. Um, I feel like he is. Um, from what he told me, he think I am. Like, I don't have time to be playing games. Um... And I'm exclusively dating him. I don't have time to entertain nobody else because I want to focus on him. So that's what I'm doing. Y'all know, Audrey graduated. I'm going to put a clip right here. She graduated. Um, real excited about that. Um, I'm just happy. I'm the proudest mama ever. Two down, one more to go, baby. Don't tell me what God can't do. Now, the struggle is this last child because, honey, he the one. He me. He's me in the rawest form. So I know I'm finna have to put work in. And he's 16, so he feeling himself. He liking girls right now. He feel like he having his way. You know, so 
it's been different with him but i because i know he's me the epitome like my daughter's me when it comes to the mouth the attitude the mannerism but him he is so much me that sometimes it's scary so um i know i gotta put in some work because he's my younger self um but yeah for the most part everything has been like really really good i've been really focused i did take a second job not because i had to but my paychecks are for bills take care of my bills yeah i'll be having a little money extra out a little money over that's extra but it's it's for me what i'm accustomed to what i'm used to is not enough and rent went up <laughs> got another car car note went up which i'm thinking about getting a cash car at the end of the year but i will go into that later so a lot of things changed you know um jacory moved out so where i had his help with the bills i don't have that anymore so because I like to enjoy life and I like to be able to do things and not feel like I'm just working just to pay bills, I took on a second part-time job, which is so freaking easy. I love it. It's like I get paid to do absolutely positively nothing. I do nothing. When I say I do nothing, y'all, I literally do nothing but show up. So I took that job. So that's been my little extra play money to play with and have fun with and save because I do put back in my savings so that's been my little extra cushion um and yeah i just been taking time to live taking time to focus on me i'm currently writing a book i need to become more focused with it because i start and i stop and then i pick it back up again um but i know that if i just buckle down on it that i can have it finished in the next four months but i just i don't know it's so much so much going on that I really can't just give it the time I want to. But I have decided that in July, I am going to dedicate all my time to focusing on writing my book. Working and writing my book. Um, but yeah, IG is getting ready to go to TSU in the fall. She's going to do two years there. And then she's going to transfer to Alabama. Um, her boyfriend actually goes to TSU. So that works out good because he's so amazing to her. Like, he's a guy scene. I love him. Like, he mine. Like, that's how deep they go. Um, what else, y'all? That's pretty much it. Ain't nothing else been going on. I'm still trying to get this thing on my face under control. As you can see, it look a whole lot better than it used to. They put me on a new medication, so I've been taking it. And it's really been clearing it up. Like, I'm amazed at how far my skin has come y'all know i have sarcoidosis so it's really clearing them up getting them out the way i'm really happy about that your girl a lot of weight the girl went from 230 to 199 honey you want you're like how key how when i'm saying how when you eliminate stress out your life and you start taking care of yourself in a manner that you were taking care of others then your health becomes important everything come become about yourself becomes important i don't eat like i used to i don't just eat crazy i still snack every now and then but that's only around that time of the month because i be having like i be needing something sweet so i i go in i go in on fudge rounds uh chocolate cream pies um funyuns every i go in honey um but for me now i'm doing more organic fruit drinks I'm doing, um, because I am pre-diabetic, I am doing the ice drinks because they have zero sugar and they have antioxidant and vitamins in it. Um, I've started portion controlling. Like, I'm not sitting up there eating a whole meal that at one time. If I have a big meal, I'm going to eat half of it for lunch, eat the other half for dinner. And sometimes I don't even eat for dinner. Sometimes I'll just be like, I don't be hungry. Um, and if I want something sweet, y'all know I got to finish for lemon heads. So, I will tear, give me about three or four lemon heads and eat that. Um, trying to get more into eating fruit, but because I don't really like eating just fruit, that's why I'm getting the organic fruit juices. Um, and they have like, they're like 100% juice. Like one of them has like elderberry in it, uh, red cherries, um, coconut water, all this stuff. So I'm really, um, watching what I eat trying to get back into the habit of working out but i haven't been working out which my doctor was really surprised because i lost all that weight not working out 
Um, my A1 levels are went from seven, uh, no, no, she said went from 10.11 to 7.1. So she said, I'm doing really, really good. I just made a conscious, and every now and then, I still have one of these, a soda, maybe once a week. Um, like, and that takes discipline. Like I literally have three packs of sodas in my room and I literally may only have once a week just because I do still love sodas. But number one, I know that they have a lot of sugar in them. They make me bloated. Um, it's not good for a diabetic. So I have one, one once a week just to kind of kill it urge, which takes a lot of discipline because it used to be a time where I taste one soda <coughs> after not having it for a long time. And baby, I'm going in. I'll drink a whole pack within a week. But now I'm more cautious of what I do. I don't drink like I used to either. Like, okay, when was the last time I had a drink? The last time I had a drink was last Thursday. And it was girls night out. But I probably won't drink again for another three weeks. That's just me. Um, because number one, we all know alcohol is high in sugar. So I've been chilling on the sugar. But yeah, I've just been chilling, y'all. And I know I ain't been vlogging as much or bringing videos to y'all as much. But I've just been living, y'all. I've been living life. I've been enjoying life. And when you enjoy life that much and you living like you say you live and you take the time, you ain't had time to pick up a camera. And I just ain't been having time. It's not that I don't want to take y'all with me. It's just that your girl is living for the first time in a long time. So, yeah. Um, what's another thing going on? I've been looking for this. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm trying to finish getting my associates. I took the summer off to decide if I'm going to attend fall because fall would be my last classes and I'd be done. So I took the file off to see if I wanted to continue. And I don't know right now. I, I really don't know. So, yeah, I'm going back and forth with that. Um, and you probably like, girl, you didn't came this far. You only got one more semester finished. It's so hard, y'all. It's so hard when you're working, you're trying to maintain and have a life. It, it's hard. I'm trying to get this book done. It's just hard. Um, I still haven't decided. I'll know by the end of July if I'm going to go back. My heart is telling me to go back, so I don't know. Um, but yeah. Oh, cut my hair. I cut my hair, y'all. I cut it mad, mad short. Um, I cut it all the way up to my ears. So it's a mad short. Y'all know my hair used to come to here I cut it number one when I dyed it blonde I haven't been taking care of my hair to be honest and then when I dyed it I dyed it blonde that blonde ate my hair up and it don't care how much moisture I put in there it didn't care about nothing my hair did not like to be blonde so I had to dye it back when I dyed it back it turned green everybody know if you try to go from blonde to black it's gonna turn green um I knew that it didn't care first I went first it was rose gold then it was blonde then it was green um so then i just decided to go and cut the green off and start over so now i'm starting over y'all know my hair used to be like this like it used to literally be like this and it's gone but i am gonna let it grow back out because i do love my hair i was gonna perm it at first but then my sister say she permed her hair and my sister hair literally comes to here it used to come to here and she says she perms her hair and her hair just started falling out and I said, nope, that's my sign. I thought, oh, I'm going my hair. I'm not perming my hair. I'm going to just manage my hair. Because my hair has the most, it has curls like this. Like, my curls are literally like this. The most beautiful curls you ever want to see in your life. It's just when it, if you don't, I can't wear it out. It tangles so much. And it's so frustrating. Because I love my hair, but I can't never wear it out because it tangles so bad. So, I'm going to let it grow out. And let it continue to flourish. But I'll probably only wear it out once a year. Maybe once or twice a year. Um, definitely not wearing it out right now because I don't like the length it's at. It's at a crazy stage, but the curls is popping, honey. The curls is popping, but it's just at a crazy stage right now, so I don't want to wear it out. I won't. I don't want to wear it out to at least get back to here. Once it get back to here, I'm good. I can still put it in a ponytail. It still look pretty, but it's just not the length that I'm accustomed to. So yeah. Okay, y'all. I gotta get out of here because I could talk to y'all like for hours and i need to go cook for bae because he coming over for dinner tonight and i saw him i was gonna fry some chicken and make some homemade macaroni and cheese and make some green beans and some cornbread yes i'm cooking for bae honey let me tell you something y'all be talking about i ain't doing that wife stuff till i'm a wife see but let me tell you something if you get in the head if you if you already have in your mind that you some you gonna be somebody's wife and that you trying to be somebody's wife 
then you're going to do those things automatically. It don't have nothing to do with you not doing it because you're not a wife yet. In your mind, you know that you're going to be somebody's wife and that you want to be somebody's wife. So you're going to do those things regardless. Like for me, I'm going to cook anyway because I'm going to eat. Even if I ain't cooking for him, I'm cooking. I had already made the final decision. I was frying chicken anyway. But because he's coming over, he get to reap those benefits of me frying that chicken, honey. Because baby, don't know about the fried little chicken like me, baby. Best believe that. So he get the benefits of that. But also, it lets him know that hey, she not afraid to get in the kitchen. She not afraid to cook nothing. She not afraid, you know, to to you know feed a man. And I'm not like we ain't gotta go out to eat all the time. We ain't gotta go spend money all the time. We can Big big house, <laughs> big living room, <laughs> big kitchen. We can chill up in here, honey. <laughs> big, we doing big things over here. <laughs> so that is what we gonna do today. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of here because my chicken defrosted. I waited till the last minute to decide I was gonna cook, but it ain't nothing but twelve oh eight. So by the time he come, I've been to just start probably frying the chicken and get the stuff going, and then we'll sit down and watch TV. So. All right, y'all. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. And I will try to come back more often. It's just life is living and I am living life. So I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to think smart, spend smarter, and have fun planning all out. I am Key and this is Key's Plan Life. Peace.